long wait begins for Hamburg, Iowa. Just beyond the temporary earthen levees constructed by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, water stands where once lay dry land. And that water will remain for some time. Working with contractors, local and state officials, and an army of volunteers, the Corps substantially completed the Ditch 6 levee around the town following three partial and one full levee breach along Federal Levy 575. In the span of less than five days, they tackled the monumental task of erecting more than three miles of earthen structure and HESCO barriers. Initially designed to a height of 916 feet mean sea level, core hydrologists determined that the secondary levee needed to be raised an additional three feet. From the latest analysis, it appears that will give the levee roughly two and a half feet of freeboard. Even as the water approached, crews continued their work. It, uh, it really brings you home. It, it uh, kind of gives you a sense of purpose. Uh, when we started, you couldn't see water for forever and, and uh, you know going 24 hours is very tiring but once the water started then you can saw a lot of added in energy to folks and uh, trying to get things accomplished so to alleviate some of the water on the temporary protective measures around hamburg the local sponsor of l575 requested to notch that levee to allow floodwaters to flow back downstream into the missouri river with construction done, the game plan shifts to surveillance and addressing any problems that arise. There's a lot of components that actually go into a good levy, you know. Uh, the first and foremost thing that we do have is good clay material that we, we got from this borrow here. It's good tight clay, it's gone in real well. That gives me a lot of confidence. Um, like I said, that could turn on a dime with a big precipitation event, things like that. Um, but, but, uh, Things are progressing very well. The Corps continues to stand on station along with the National Guard and local volunteers to support the community of Hamburg. In an impromptu meeting with Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley and Representative Tom Latham, the mayor of Hamburg, Kathy Crane, expressed her appreciation for the work being done. Uh, I'm telling you, they're doing it. They are doing it. So we are not, even the farmers are in agreement with that this team is doing it and that he's sent his best. Yeah, I'm we're doing it along 1,700 miles right now. And this, is, this has been the focus right now. You know, we worked down through Bismarck, Mandan, Pier, Fort Pier, Sioux City, I was up to yesterday. We've got a fight going on up there still in Dakota Dunes, and we're working to raise the, uh, the, the municipal wells in Sioux City as well in Iowa. Right. Um, so there's a lot of great folks out there doing a lot of good work. I, I tell people, I got 1,300 employees. We live behind levees. We live, you know, we're, we're part of the community. For more on the fight for Hamburg and the continuing efforts of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in the face of this flood, follow us on Facebook and Twitter.